for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.isgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answers discussion visit www.gatemec.com question 44 which of the following is the major characteristic of deciduous trees a they do not lose their leaves b they shed their leaves annually c they synthesize their own food d they depend on other factors for their food so what is the main characteristic of deciduous trees they shed their leaves as per the seasons so during dry season they shed their leaves it means they shed their leaves annually and leaves do uh, they do not shed leaves are called evergreen trees because they remain their green color throughout the year so they are called evergreen trees and see see as tells that they are photosynthetic right this is also correct d tells that they depend on others for food no this is not correct but here all uh, all trees will be photosynthetic right so if you are asked to define the characteristic of deciduous tree we can go with the option b option b will be the answer and this we we, are, we discuss in biomes <coughs> in our video lectures in our youtube channel there is a series about biomes and ecosystems and the deciduous forest and evergreen forest are discussed as part of the ecosystem and biomes chapter in our lecture question 47 consider the following characteristics with respect to alpha particles first they have large specific ionization values second they dissipate their energy rather slowly third they can penetrate the outer layer of the human skin fourth they emitters are heavy elements which of the above statements are correct and we are given four statements and from the options it is clear that only two statements are correct if you are able to find the four uh, two statements out of four you can go with the answer what are these alpha particles alpha particles are the radioactive particles having two protons and two neutrons so they are like a helium nuclei helium nucleus and these are produced from the heavy elements heavy elements that is radioactive elements like uranium they will naturally decay and during this process <coughs> the heavy elements change to elements with a lesser mass right so in this process they will release the radiations in the form of alpha beta gamma radiations and that alpha is the heaviest and they cannot penetrate the skin but they can be inhaled or digested that will cause problems inside body like lung cancer and uh, problems in the digestive systems but they cannot penetrate the skin so the option 4 tends to be correct right they are emitted by heavy elements if you know this you can directly go with the options it will be a 1 4 or c 2 4 what about two second statement they dissipate their uh, energy rather slowly no these alpha particles have large they are faster faster energy dissipating so second statement is wrong first statement you can see they have large specific ionization values what is mean by specific ionization it is the number of ion pairs that the particles produce per unit length they are traveling so what are, what is the property of the ionizing materials when they are traveling through the medium they will 
create ionization. So it measures the number of ion pairs per unit length. That is the specific ionization. This alpha particle has very high specific ionization. And second statement is wrong. Third statement is <clears throat> they can penetrate the outer layer of the human skin. The statement also wrong. So the answer is on and four is option A. Question 48. Increased biological oxygen demand is an indication of first low microbial contamination, second absence of microbial pollution, third high level of microbial contamination. Which of the above statements are correct? The question is about BOD. Biological oxygen demand. What does it mean? It means the amount of oxygen, dissolved oxygen required to degrade the organic matter present in a water. This concept we discussed in our environment article in our site, in the environmental pollution and degradation article. Uh, we saw that BOD is an important measure of the amount of pollution in the water body. So it measures the level of pollution. How? Because when BOD is higher, when BOD is higher, it means that pollution is also higher. It means that more oxygen is required to digest the organic matter present in the water. So lesser BOD means less polluted water. So here in the statements, we can see that low microbial contamination cannot be the answer. Absence of microbial pollution also cannot be at the answer. So the option is 3. It indicates the high level of microbial contamination in the water. Answer is 3 only. It is C. 3 only. Question 49. <coughs> An association of two organisms of different species for mutual benefit and where the individuals may not be able to survive separately is called A. Commensalism, B. Parasitism, C. Non-Symbiotic and B. Symbiotic. So in our article, in, in the site, environment concept we discussed this association we have given the association between coral polyps and the sutandale algae as a as an example of symbiotic relation the relation is such that it is a long-term relation and these participating organisms cannot live separately so when coral bleaching occurs the algae dies so that coral will also die with it and the answer is very obvious, it is D. For engineering services, general studies video lectures, visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com. For mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion, visit www.getmap.com.